In today's episode, I'm looking at six fashion trends that are over in 2022 and what I think you should wear instead. Hi, I'm Leonie and welcome back to my channel. Now, we all know that you can actually make any outfit look great if you've got the right attitude. But what I have noticed is there has been a bit of a shift away from some of our tried and true fashion faves. And so today I wanted to talk you through what has been happening. Okay, it may be a bit of a stretch to say that these trends are over, but what I am saying is that perhaps it's time to push pause on a couple of them and just shift our focus a little bit so that we can give our current outfits a little bit more of a modern update. So here are the six trends that I'm phasing out and that doesn't mean that I won't be wearing them. It just means that I won't be buying them and focusing on these pieces as the core of my outfit. I may still incorporate them into outfits and I'll talk you through how I'll be doing that in this video. A small portion of today's video is sponsored by Squarespace and I'll share a little bit more about them shortly. But let's get on to these trends. Now this first trend is going to be a little controversial because I know a lot of you really like it. And that is the trend for wearing neutrals. Now, just bear with me for a minute. We have been wearing neutrals for a really long time. And while these earthy tones are still on trend, what I am seeing that's kind of taking over from that is beautiful, bright, vibrant pops of color. So don't keep focusing on those neutrals. I'm sure you probably already own enough of those pieces currently. But maybe if you haven't got into color yet, maybe focus on finding a color that just makes you feel alive and happy and vibrant. And of course, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, spring is just around the corner, so there is no better time to incorporate some color into your outfits. And one thing that looks really good is some of those neutrals paired back with bright, vibrant colors. So that's a way of, of incorporating those pieces into your current lineup, but giving them a little bit of a fresh up by adding a bright pop of color. Now the next trend, and this almost isn't a trend, it's just something that many of us own, and that is skinny jeans. Now what I'm suggesting we swap our skinny jeans out for is a more slouchy, oversized, almost low-waisted trouser. Now bear with me again because I just think that these trousers make getting dressed so much easier. The great thing about them is that they are universally flattering. They're also really easy to wear, but the tailoring makes them look a little more sophisticated, a little more pulled together, and they are so easy to dress up or wear more casually, and that makes them a super versatile piece. Not to mention they're timeless and they are comfortable to wear. So if you haven't got your head around these sort of trouser, slouchy, almost boyfriend style pants, then definitely consider giving them a go. Skinny jeans will always be in fashion, so all I'm saying here is perhaps move them aside for a bit. Okay, we've all been living in comfy flats and that makes perfect sense when you're in lockdown and you're working from home. Even if you're commuting, flats are fab, but what I am seeing more of and what I potentially suggest that you swap out your really extra comfy flats for is some flat forms or platforms. Now, we all know that flat forms and platforms give you a little bit more height. You still have the same comfort levels as wearing a straight flat shoe, but you get that a little bit more elevation. So you get that height, you also get a shoe that helps to kind of balance your proportions with an outfit and just gives an outfit a little bit more edge. And at this point, I'd just like to say a very big thank you to the team at Squarespace for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. If you have been following me here for a while, you'll know that I am a huge fan of Squarespace and fairly recently moved my blog over to a Squarespace platform. Oh, and I actually sent out my first email from Squarespace recently and oh my gosh, it was so easy to create that email. 
I did notice that I had a couple of spelling mistakes in it, so I'm sorry in advance about that. I think I was so excited about pushing play and sending that email out that I didn't do a very good spell check on it. I will do that next time, but I love the fact that everything on my Squarespace blog is right there in one place, and even if you're not very tech savvy like me, you can get your head around it all very easily. So I will be sending out some more emails only when I've got something to say. So I'll leave a link to my blog and my email list down below if you'd like to be included to get some insider info from time to time. But the blogging options are endless when it comes to Squarespace. In fact, there are some gorgeous templates to choose from and once you've picked a template, you can customize it and make changes and make it your own. I'm already thinking I might make some changes to my existing blog because it's so easy to do. But if you have a product to sell or if you'd like to start a blog or if you would like to just get online, then Squarespace is, in my opinion, the easiest way to do it. So if you haven't tried Squarespace, Space before and you would like to then head on over to squarespace.com have a little play around and then when you are ready to get started use my link which I'll leave in the description box below but it is simply squarespace.com forward slash the style insider and my discount code which is just the style insider and you will save 10% off your first Squarespace website or domain so if this year is the year for you then get amongst it I will leave all the details in the description box below and that link. So let's get on with these trends. Now there's been a big push towards crafty cottage style dressing and I totally get that. I know a lot of you are not really into that look so what I'm suggesting is that you trade the sort of crochet and embroidered type trends and swap them out for more of a preppy look. Now preppy looks are really in my mind they are fairly timeless. Yes they sort of come and go in terms of popularity but it's always a really lovely pull together modern look and obviously we've seen a lot of knitted vests over the last couple of years what I have seen is a quirky little name for I think it's called a chest which is basically a shirt worn under a vest which is very much a preppy vibe now we don't have to go full-on preppy but just a little bit preppy and pull together and I think that's what I really Really like about this trend after so long wearing sweats and really comfy oversized baggy clothes preppy styling is just a little bit more pulled together so what I'm suggesting is move aside the sort of the crafty crocheted kind of real boho vibe and in its place look at preppy styling now we have seen a bit of a return to cowboy boots and I'm always in mixed minds about cowboy boots. I do think they look good, but I also think there is a time and a place for them. Obviously, if you live in cowboy country, you're gonna wear them all year round. I totally get that. But they're not an easy boot to incorporate into a modern outfit for most of us. So for that reason, I'm suggesting that you swap out the classic cowboy boot and instead trade it for more of a Chelsea style flat boot. Now that can be a, an ankle boot, it can be a three quarter boot, which I've seen a lot of Chelsea style boots in this sort of three quarter length, which is really versatile. But these boots are certainly timeless and they also just give a little bit of a, a unisex slash masculine vibe to some of the pretty dresses and the floaty outfits that are very on trend as well. And I personally love that sort of high-low dressing, so that's definitely what I'll be focusing on for 2022. So I'm moving out the cowboy boots and just enjoying more of a classic Chelsea style boot. The next trend that I think is actually over is corset tops. Now, I've always struggled with the idea of wearing lingerie type pieces and making them work in everyday wear. I do think this is kind of a look that works on the runway or in magazines, but it doesn't tend to translate very well to real life. What I do think looks really good though is more of a cropped top or a cropped cardigan style. Now, don't panic when it comes to the sound of crops because there's all sorts of different lengths in crops and crops 
certainly for me, the crop that I like is very much one that just hits my, my waistband of the pants or skirt that I'm wearing. So I'm not into bearing midriff crops, although I love that look, but just not on me. So crops are definitely, in my mind, a much easier piece to wear and they're also a little bit more modern and are going to give some of the pieces that I'm sure you already own, some of the skirts and pants perhaps that you already own, a, a little bit of a freshen up. Now I was only going to mention six trends in this video but I thought of another one which I definitely think is worth kind of pushing pause on for a little bit and that is boiler suits and overalls. Now don't get me wrong, these kind of one and done looks are super easy. You're not having to try and piece together an outfit to create a look. You put it on much like a dress and it's done. But unlike a dress, it's extra tricky when it comes to going to the bathroom, which is why I've never been a huge fan of these all-in-one pieces. What I do suggest that you swap them out for, especially this year, is more of a chino cargo style pant. Now I have talked about these pants in a couple of videos and I don't, in a couple of recent videos, and I don't want to sound like a broken record, but the chino style cargo kind of pant is really easy to wear. In fact, I've got my eye on Karen Brett Chick's new collection from Amazon The Drop and I'm hoping, hoping this time to get a pair of her cargoes because they look amazing and I missed out last time. But I would be definitely swapping out those boiler suits and all-in-one overalls for a really cool pair of cargoes. And if you look at Karen's, I'll actually put up a couple of images here so you can see. They're really smart, so don't always think of cargoes or chinos as being a little bit too casual. They are smart and can look amazing. So that's another swap that I almost forgot but thought I'd include in this video as well. Anyway, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this one and if you did, I'd love you to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.